Hi, this is Justin, and in this video we're going to be demonstrating some of the basics of analog rails. So right now I am adding a PMOS4 MOSFET to the schematic and setting up some of the properties. There you can see it's in the schematic and the layout at the same time because they're in sync. I'm now copying that MOSFET, and I'm going to bring these two transistors together, and you can see the red line indicating that analog rails won't let me about these transistors because they don't share any connectivity. So I'm going to wire them together. And now when I bring them together in the layout, you're going to see a green line, and when I let the transistor go, it automatically abuts them. Now if I break this connectivity, analog rails automatically unabuts the transistors in the layout. As you can see, I can't bring them back together again. So now I'm going to wire them back together. I'm going to re-abut them. As you can see, they're one single diffusion group. The SA ADAS, PDPS, SASB parameters are back annotated into the schematic. Now I'm going to change the properties on one of the transistors to show that we will keep the de everything design rule correct. You can see the transistors in the layout are now, now farther apart. Just increase the M factor there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a dummy to the right side of the diffusion group in the layout. You can see that a dummy is automatically added into the schematic. There you can see the cross probing. You can also see that we have stretchy wires in the schematic. It's all done automatically. And now I'm going to show you some manual routing and our layers toolbar. So what I'm going to do is hide the poly here and the metal one. As you can see I can independently show and hide all the layers in the layout. It's very easy. Now what I'm going to do is draw some poly on this gate net here. All you do is just draw it in the layout. Easy as that. Now what I'm going to do is try to draw some poly over diffusion. You can see analog rails won't let me do that because that would be equivalent to creating a transistor there. Now when I route this metal one on the same net, you can see it automatically inserts a contact over the manual route I drew, but no contact appears over the transistor. Now I'm going to show you how easy it is to widen routes. Just a click, you can see that the number of contacts increased. And if I widen this metal one, it changes it to an array of contacts based off of the design rules. Now I'm going to draw metal one on a different net. You can see once again that a contact was not inserted over the transistor. And if I go back to my original net and draw metal one towards the original metal one, you can see that it won't let me create a short. Analog rails won't let you make a mistake. It's also very easy to move manual routes that you've created. So thanks for watching. This has been our basics demonstration. Please enjoy the rest of the videos on the site.